Hey, what's up? So I'm going to make a, a, a few videos about registration because I think it's a very important subject. And uh, I'm going to tackle this in a, I'll try, try to approach it in a different manner because I think there is a lot of confusion online on what registers are supposed to be. And uh, very little is said about why we need them, what, what's, what's so useful about the idea to begin with. Uh, so there are definitions that say, well, a register is an area of your voice, okay? Uh, another definition is that it's a, a certain quality. Another definition is that it's a coordination, a certain way that the vo vocal folds are producing sound, and so on. But I don't think any of these really describe what a, voc or what a singing register is, or, or singing technique. And um, the closest thing that, that approach that idea is the, the modes on complete vocal technique. But even then, I think the modes, are, they, are, they deal with it on a, on a more fundamental manner. It's a, a little bit it, it, it's detached from singing in a certain way because they, 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 they get about keeping a consistent idea uh, behind the prediction, not, not really... Uh, uh, something tailored for the final application on singing on the higher level. Let's call it the higher level of abstraction when you are actually performing. And, uh, well, what is a vocal register? And, uh, and the idea on singing registers is pretty much that it's a different voice that you use. Like, how so? Uh, imagine that you are mimicking an Italian person speaking. This is a different voice that you are doing. Well... Uh, you do a lot of stuff when you're doing that, but uh, there is a certain intention behind it. It's an action. Uh, it's a type of voice that you can do. Or if you're mimicking a cartoon character, so you want to mimic stitch, and you go, oh, how I move sound, and how I move blah, 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 blah. Uh, you're also doing another voice. There are certain elements that are particular to that, yes. But it's not about those elements. It's about having that different voice that you can access and use whenever you want. Okay. That's a, a first step. But then why the hell do you need a different voice to sing? Shouldn't you be singing with just your voice? Well, if you did that, uh, I think most people do that. You'll probably see that there are certain limits to that. If you, if you just continue using your voice in the way you normally do, you probably will reach limits they will be different depending on the person because everyone speaks in a, their particular manner. But they will, there will be limits. You're going to find uh, certain things are outside your possibilities. And you may need, may want to have a different approach to that. So uh, that's one, why I'm doing this kind of video. Uh, another matter that came up on another video that I made, uh, I made a, a more polished video singing Highlander the one from Lost Horizon and one person in that in there suggested and you know on the surface is a good suggestion to to demonstrate it without treatment without effect uh, recording on a cell phone was the idea a cell phone I don't think is a very good idea to demonstrate this because the the, the cell phone end up, ends up distorting whenever you go a bit loud. It's not even that, oh, he's so loud that the, vo the cell phone is this hard. No, uh, anything that you do that's a bit louder, the cell phone craps out. So it's not useful for that. To, to show what's really going on, you need better audio. Uh, but, but the suggestion was uh, in the sense of using less effect. So I'm going to use a very dry signal path in here. It's just a little bit of compression so that you can hear the spoken voice and the, the, the levels are more even. Uh, a low pass so that the since I'm close to the mic I don't want it to to have a lot of low end like boom 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 uh, rumbling all the time that's not you there, there is a significant low pass in here it's like a, a hundred hertz or or even higher I don't really need that <clears throat> and um, yeah I lost the train of thought yeah and I on the side, although the, the the idea on the surface is very very beneficial, that there is an underlying tone in that that I don't really like, which suggests that uh, the the high quality that uh, the, the quality you can only achieve by using effects. And I saw a lot, that same person making a lot of posts in this sense, 
And I don't think it's a very nice thing to tell people because it makes them, it, it, it shifts them away from reality. So just that simple single path, no reverb, no delay. I'm just going to record the song. The song that I'm going to use to demonstrate this idea is uh, Future World from Halloween. And uh, the register that I'm going to use to demonstrate is head voice, just head voice. I'm going to use it through the whole thing, the idea of head voice. And you're going to see that as I sing the song, many qualities start to appear. There are many transitions of things going on. But it is still the same voice for me, and that's why this is useful. And you cannot really pinpoint, uh, uh, you cannot um, track down what head voice is, in the sense, to a, one specific element. If you do that, you're doing something else, and it's not as useful. So I'm just going to go ahead and record the sound. I will not record the whole thing, just the first uh, verse and chorus, okay? <clears throat> All right, here we go. <laughs> not is it a perfect take i don't think so i think that if i was recording this uh, and i wanted to get the best quality possible i could do more takes uh, i could make a more complex interpretation using uh, different uh, ideas in some point for, for example maybe on the low range i i would go heavy uh, the next verse goes like you say you like to stay singing like this perhaps sounds more aggressive and nice or maybe I could use a heavier voice through the whole thing. But the fact is, uh, 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 the idea, the, the, that voice that I have, that head voice, that I, I have no, that I, I built, it's not something that you have. It's something that you have to learn, to construct. It's very useful to sing in this style. And uh, I hope it, it makes sense. Uh, that's why, that's the idea of, singing registers. It's not really that you have a voice that you're going to find uh, magically and, and suddenly you stumble on it and, well, there you go. Maybe you can find some elements of it and they will deceivingly seem to be just that super simple thing that makes you sing high, for example. There are lots of them, but they never really actually work on the song. And hopefully... Uh, you, you are hearing the audio without reverb, without delay, without, you know, a ton of effects that could be on it, which I really don't use because in the end of the day, if you do that, it sounds really bad if you exaggerate effects. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'll follow up with more ideas. I'll use other songs to demonstrate. And um, uh, yeah. I think that let's see where this goes, okay? Thanks for watching, see ya.